So in this video, we're going to review all of the different types of quadrilaterals and classifications for them. And this is going to take care of uh, slides 12 through 16. So first, let's take a look at all of the different types of quadrilaterals that we've reviewed this year. And the first way to break them down into the one of two categories, either parallelograms or trapezoids, is based on how many parallel sets of lines they have. So for parallelograms, the top and bottom, that's one set of parallel lines and the other sides are also parallel. So this one has two sets of parallel lines, two pairs of parallel lines. Now with trapezoids, they only have one set. And right here in both of my examples, it's the top and bottom parallel sets. So that's the, two, the real main difference there between those two. And real quick, while we're focused on a trapezoid, let me just remind you guys that this one is called the isosceles trapezoid because those two sides are the same. And this one's called the right trapezoid because of the right angles. All right, so if it only has the one pair of parallel lines, it's over here, trapezoids. Now if we have the two sets, they could be further categorized. If the um, parallelogram happens to have right angles, now it's called a rectangle. So a rectangle is a type of parallelogram with right angles. All right, now this parallelogram could stay with obtuse and acute angles, but all the sides could be the same. And if you see that there, that's how you know you have a rhombus. So rhombus is also a type of parallelogram, okay? Now if we take the rectangle and the rhombus and kind of put those ideas together where we keep the right angles and now we have the four sides the same, now we have a square. So if I ask you if a square is a type of rhombus, yup. A square is also a type of rectangle and a square is a type of parallelogram. A square is also obviously a quadrilateral. So all of these names apply to a square, okay? Now, if I ask you, are all rectangles considered squares? No, it's above it, so that one would not be true. All right, now let's take a look at question 12. So identify the classifications here that are um, used to name this figure. So first and foremost, it is a polygon. I don't see polygon here. It's a polygon with four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. Now, because it only has opposite sides parallel, just the one set, it's also a trapezoid. And so for 12 now, we are done. Moving on to question 13. Which classifications describe this figure? So first and foremost, it's a, para or a polygon. I don't see polygon in here. It's a polygon with four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. It has opposite sides parallel, so it's a parallelogram. And because we can see that it has the one tick mark for all four sides, all four sides are the same, so this one's also a rhombus. All right, for the next question. Which classifications appear to describe both of these figures? So we want names that will work for both. Once again, they're polygons, but okay, polygons not there. They have four sides, so they're quadrilaterals. They have opposite sides parallel. And once again, you can see there's the two tick marks and the two tick marks, so those are parallel. And then just the one indicates that it's parallel with that side. We have that over here. Now we can't pick rhombus because this first one's not a rhombus. So for 14, it's just these two. All right, and now for number 15, select each property that is true for any rhombus. So this is a select all. Is there exactly one pair of parallel sides? No. So that is a pair, and this is also a pair. So we have two pair, so we're not picking A. Here it is for B. There are exactly two pairs of parallel sides. Good. Are there exactly four congruent sides? Yes, all four of these sides are exactly the same. Now, will we have four right angles? No, not necessarily. If we have the four right angles, that's going to make it a square. There are exactly two pairs of congruent opposite angles. Now, this is definitely the rhombus, and let me draw it for you. In red, that is one pair of obtuse angles, and they're the same. And here in green, these are the acute angles. So we have two pairs, the red pair and the green pair, and they're opposite congruence, so we will be picking E. And now we have one final question for this video. This is select each classification that does not describe the figure. So this is a quadrilateral, and the opposite sides are parallel, and the opposite sides are all congruent to each other, okay? So that means this one is not a trapezoid, it's not a square, and it's not a rectangle because we don't have the right angles. And that concludes the video on quadrilaterals. Thank you.